So hello and welcome to this Yoro Rack Accessories video with two little passive accessories from Mutant Modular. Say hello to Mr. Piranha, Mr. Fidget, Mr. Mixer and Mr. Attenuator. So silliness aside, these are two super simple but super useful devices from Mutant modular. This is an inline attenuator, input, output, and we simply rotate this to control the depth of whatever signal, audio, or CV that comes through. This is a free channel mixer, free inputs, one output. We have a level for each of the free inputs and an output volume as well. Super useful. These are useful beyond Yoro rack in terms of routing things on semi-modular devices. And the attenuator I find mega useful for running audio into a camera when I'm actually out recording live at trade shows and events, when I can't always get attenuation on the system that someone's demoing, I can run it into this, drop the level down into the camera and our recording gear, and we're good to go. So just a couple of really quick patches just to demo the passive attenuator and the passive mixer that we can do in line within our cabling. Here's a patch taking some noise, striking this eventide DDL. Nice filter on the delay there, but there's a CV input with no attenuation. So I simply plug my LFO in and then I can nicely and simply attenuate and vary the LFO that I have now modulating the filter with the attenuator. So of course there's a ton of potential modules that have inputs without CV attenuation at their inputs or level attenuation on their audio inputs where this would be handy. Here's just one more example with the attenuator. I have sample and hold coming into decimate here on prism. Now full range. My random modulation is just a bit too extreme, so of course dialing that back. We can just have a shallow depth of modulation. That just hangs quite nicely on the cables, doesn't weigh much at all. So the passive mixer, super simple as well, as we've said, free inputs and the output. Turning the output up, here is a kick, snare, kind of noise thing. And it's just really nice and smooth. Now I'd always encourage having little mixers around a system as well as VCAs just for making the most out of modulation, mixing modulation, mixing audio, modulating audio, just being able to do more complex things. Now with a very capable filter, the SSF Stereo Dipole, but say I just want to modulate the single cutoff with multiple CVs through that one input. I have an attenuator, but there isn't a mixer. Why would there be a mixer for the CV on the filter? Most, if not all, don't have mixers for their CV inputs, although they may have a couple of different CV ins affecting the same thing. So here I'm using three different modulation sources that I like to modulate resonant filters with, and I'll take you through them. First is some step random. We've then got an LFO. Some noise. And let's just get a nice blend of mixed modulation that I like modulating this filter. This little essence of noise, the sample and hold feels like it's kind of swirling a little bit with this LFO. I can of course master, attenuate down that mix, turn the output of the mixer down, which in this case I could do on the filter, it's handy that it's there on the mixer. Simple little video just about these Yoro Rack accessories, the little free channel mixer with output volume as well, and the attenuator from Mutant Modular. Hit like, subscribe, support me on Patreon if you like the work that I do. What are your favourite little accessories to go with Yoro Rack? Be great to chat about it in the comments.